Death is not something a lot of people like to talk about, but when they do, they often have a strong opinion about what should happen to them when they're gone. This is a greener way of going about cremation. Will Humble is the former director of Arizona's Department of Health Services. He says a growing number of people across the country are choosing to have their bodies disposed of after death in a more environmentally friendly way. It's called human composting or natural organic reduction. Instead of someone being cremated, their remains are turned into fertile soil that can be used in a family member's garden or backyard. People have different things that they want to do and right now our statutes aren't aligned with what a lot of people want to do, which is to um, have their remains be handled in a way that's greener and more consistent with their values. Right now, seven states have laws on the books allowing human composting, and Arizona could be number eight. State lawmaker Lauren Hendricks has just introduced a bill, HB 2081, that some are calling the grandpa in the garden bill. It would change Arizona's funeral services law to allow eco-friendly options as a way to dispose of a body after death. Some people get a little bit of a ghoulish feel when they think about burying a loved one in the backyard, uh, but the majority of them, after giving us some thought, are supportive. They're seeing it as an option. Again, it's an option. It's not for everyone, but it is for some. The average price to turn human remains into fertile soil is around $5,000, which is significantly less than a traditional burial and a bit more than a basic cremation. We asked a number of people what they think about going green when they lose a loved one. I guess it's a way to renew their life. I mean, once they see that flower in their garden or something like that, it's like, hey, that reminds me of grandma or grandpa. I do think it seems more natural and it seems better for the environment because you're not burning things. I think I like it. Um, you know, there's less waste and I feel like it's good for the earth, so why not? It just doesn't seem right. It doesn't feel right, actually. Not something you would do? Not at all. I, I wouldn't want to go in the backyard and say, oh, look at Grandpa, he just made a, a bunch of tomatoes for us. It, I just couldn't feel right. <laughs> I also spoke to a couple of funeral directors to get their thoughts on the grandpa in the garden bill. They're not sure if they'd offer it as a service, but say they have no problem with Arizona families having another option when a loved one passes away. In Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.